pop quiz hotshot. You just got the most anticipated new peripheral from Cooler Master in your hands, and you want to get down and dirty with it. What do you do? What do you do? Congratulations! You're now the proud owner of the Control Pad, the world's first fully mechanical, fully analog keypad. Worship all 24 keys of linear responsive glory. Revel in the sheer potential of this game-changing input device. Take a pic for the gram, submit it to Reddit for the karma, or whatever new platform you Zoomers are using these days. I don't really care. But most importantly, we built the thing for you to actually use it, so let's get started. Step one, unbox the thing. Or watch the previous unboxing video we did to see how to take it out of the box like a champ. Step two, put it all together. That includes connecting all the cables, attaching the magnetic wrist rest, detaching the magnetic wrist rest, doing that a few more times because it's really, really satisfying. And last of all, peel off all that incredible plastic. Or, you know, save it for a bad day because that plastic makes everything better. Step three, download the Master Plus software to get access to all the advanced features. Or, if you really want to use the control pad as a glorified left half of the keyboard, be my guest, but man, you need to take a look at how you spend your money. Because installing Master Plus will allow you to use the control pad to its fullest potential. You can adjust all your settings like you would any input device. Set macros, customize profiles, set lighting modes. Here are some of the basics you should nail first before hitting more advanced maneuvers. To get turned on, I mean, <laughs> to turn on the aim pad, simply press and hold keys 3, 8, and 13 for 5 seconds. If done correctly, the control pad will reboot and your computer will recognize it as a gaming controller. Side note, but super important note, make sure there are no other controllers plugged into your system. Aimpad needs to be recognized as player one to work correctly. In order to ensure the control pad is assigned to player one, always plug it in first above all other gaming controllers. We have a link below in the description to help you out if you need it. I know you're really itching to try it out and start gaming, but there is one more thing you should try first, which is calibration. To get started, simply press and hold 4, 9, and 14 for 5 seconds. The LEDs should flash from blue to red. At this point, press and hold each key to begin. Each key will flash red and green before settling on a solid green when finished. When all keys are properly calibrated, the control pad will automatically exit calibration mode. After that, you should be good to immerse yourself in your favorite game with a whole new method of control. Now, finally, let's test it out. Here's a list of some of the most common supported games. Don't see your most played title? Well, we have yet another link below with a full, comprehensive list. If your title isn't on that list below, it doesn't mean it won't work, it just means we haven't gotten around to testing it yet. But a strong rule of thumb is, if the game has controller support, control pad will at least work with partial support. So that's that. Like if you liked, follow, hit that bell so you can see me on the weekly. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to drop us a line below or hit us up on Twitter or our subreddits for more troubleshooting help. Until next time, catch you on the tip side.